Hello everyone. Well, for today's video, I thought that I would fulfill a request, specifically one that was made to me by another ASM artist, and that is Donna ASMR. And she asked that I do a video using a pencil bag. So I didn't have a pencil bag laying around the house, so I went looking for one and just today I saw this at my Target store and as soon as I saw it I knew instantly that this was the bag for this video and this is what it looks like in the front and it is orange and it has these two kind of googly eyes here at the top and inside are probably about 16 to 20 pencils you can hear them inside and the thing that I liked most about this bag is the fact that when you open it up it has a little mouth which are other zipper teeth but they don't zipper but they make great white teeth like a monster I think that is an absolutely amazing concept. And if I was a kid going to school, I would love having this pencil bot pencil bag. So let's see what we have in here. I got all different types of pencils for you. This first one is a ruler. I don't know how accurate it is. I wouldn't rely on it for any kind of measurement. But um, I think it's very appropriate for back to school using the ruler as a design motif for a pencil. And there were two of them in the pack, so we have two of them here. Next one we have is another appropriate school themed pencil. It has the alphabet on it, specifically as if it was on a large refrigerator. And these are refrigerator magnet letters that you get when you have children so they can play with their letter shapes and stick them to the refrigerator or any other flat metal surface that you have. My kids loved taking them on and off and on and off constantly fascinated by the fact that they just stuck there like magic and there were two of these as well and these have like a purple eraser to them and a metallic pink metal part that's holding the eraser on Let's see what else we have in here. Sticking with the school theme, we have some apples. Although that's a really old idea of school. I don't know if anyone even brings apples to school anymore, let alone to give to the teacher, but I assume it probably happens a little bit. But it's nice to think that some people still are. And this has a blue eraser with a red holder on it. I 
This one has buttons on it. It's very brightly colored. All different types and shapes and colors of buttons. I like this one a lot. It has a really nice coloring to it. And this has a yellow eraser and a light blue metal holder. Look at this one. This is an old pencil that I have had around the house. Several of them, in fact. They um, came from my father-in-law's house, the Calpins Bicentennial. So he's had these since 1976, and he had a whole stack of them. So I brought some of them home. The pencil part is still good. The eraser part is completely hard as a rock and absolutely useless. But I think it's interesting that this has a bright, shiny, metallic eraser holder. Very similar to the one that I just bought today. The color is just a little different. It's kind of in between this bright pink and this red one. And that may just be because of age. It's just an old pencil. There's another Apple pencil, the same color eraser. And another one of these pencils. I think there must have been about 20 that we took home with us and left another 20 or 30 there at the house. So, and this is a very interesting pencil. It's kind of like a rainbow tie dyed look to it. It starts out with red and goes to orange and yellow. Light green, dark green, light blue, dark blue, purple, pink, and then back to red. It has kind of a funky 60s vibe to it, I think. Here's another button pencil. That one has a little piece of rubber sticking off of it. I'm going to push these off the screen here. Give myself some room. Here we have another school theme. This is the alphabet. Let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, no, it's not the whole alphabet. This one starts with A, and this one starts with A, and this one starts with D. So it's not quite. But it is in cursive. It's a nice cursive handwriting, which you don't see very much of anymore. Let's see. It's another one of these. We'll put that right there. And another one of these. Not too many left. This is a gray pencil. And it has a shining light bulb and a shining star alternating down the side of the pencil. This one has a white eraser with a plain silver holder there. And of course, there were two of them. And then we have another rainbow theme. This time it is done with yarn. And we have many different colors alternating down the pencil. 
It's a nice textured look to it with the yarn and the thread. This has a blue eraser with a green metallic holder. And the final two are repeats of the yarn and the tie-dyed one. So we'll put those right there. Then our monster is empty. So here are all of our pencils. I much prefer when I draw to use pencils as opposed to pens. They seem to do better with the ability to draw very softly and put down just a barest hint of a line first and refine that and possibly erase it, probably erase it, and redo it. And then draw a little bit heavier next time and slowly work on my drawings like that as opposed to a pen where you are pretty much required to get it right the first time you draw it. And I don't necessarily work like that. I always have to see what I've drawn and then make adjustments to it. So I definitely have many pencils around and now I have a lot more. and I'm sure they will be used at some point in time. The other thing I wanted to show you about this bag that I really liked about it, I thought it was extremely unique, was the fact that It is made up of one continuous zipper that goes all the way around and creates the bag as it is zipped. So the first one is obviously a mouth and it goes around the corner here. So you have just this strip, and it comes all around this way, comes behind the eyeballs, and goes around the back again. around this way. One final turn. This is a tight corner here. There we go. And the entire bag is just one long strip. I thought that was so cool of an idea and unique for a pencil bag. So I can imagine as a kid having this pencil bag. having a great deal of fun zipping it and unzipping it. I find 
a great deal of fun with it as an adult as well. I can also imagine as a kid unzipping it and then not getting it able to zip back together and not having a pencil bag and having my pencils everywhere. I think that risk far outweighs the sheer joy of taking something that is mundane as a pencil bag and creating something that is this fun. It's a great idea. And they have other products as well. This is the, it's called Zip It. They have a um, a mini purse, a small purse, and they have a big pencil bag that fits into a three ring binder. And then they have a small little like coin purse thing. So now we have our pencil bag back together. And I think it's time we put our pencils back. Monster is hungry. <laughs> it holds quite a bit. Which is really nice. And of course you can have more than just pencils in it. You can have pens in it and erasers. And if you're a girl, I guess you could have like nail polish in here. You could fit a small calculator in here, or a compass, or an exacto knife, as long as you had the blade part covered. You could fit quite a lot in here. And if you ever needed a strap or a piece of rope or something to rescue somebody, you could whip out your pencil bag and unzip it and have a handy rope or strap that um, is pretty solidly made. I think you could probably put a lot of tension on this and it would hold it. I don't know that it would necessarily zip back the same. but. It's certainly not cheaply made. And there we go. All the pencils are back safe and sound where they need to be. And I hope you have enjoyed this video and a look at this unique pencil bag. And please subscribe to my channel. I have many more ideas that people have been giving me. I have a list of videos that I have waiting to make. And some of them I have to plan for and think about how I'm going to do them. And others I'm just waiting for the time to do them. So thank you for guys for watching. I'll see you next time.